as a model, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and Miss South Africa semi-finalist, Sinead Bridgewell is an all-rounder, and looking good 24-7 is part of her job description. Her hair is her crowning glory, and she shares some secrets with us in this feature, proudly sponsored by Mira Amla Oil. The secret is not for everyone. Mira. Shanae was sharing life skills advice with the girls of the St. George's home as part of her work for the SB Foundation. Architect Vinod Bridgelal and his wife Ashni are not the only Port Chepstow residents to be proud of their daughter Shanae because it seems the entire town has watched with interest as the life and career of this dynamic woman unfolds. Karishma arrived just as Shanae was wrapping up. Is that what you think? Okay. Most girls actually do think that. It is unfair to compare yourself to a girl that's on the cover of a magazine because those pictures have been edited. Mm -hmm. Hi Shanae, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. good, thank you. Welcome to Mela. Thank you so much for having me. There are very few things in this world that inspire me more than a young, strong, beautiful woman following her dreams and making a difference in this world. Shanae Bridgewell does all of this with beauty and grace and is proving that beauty and brains certainly do go hand in hand. Shanae, why is the St. George's Home so important to you? I'm really passionate about education and women empowerment. And St. George's is the only home that the SB Foundation works with that's a girls only home. It's really fun working with girls, having our events with girls and encouraging them to be empowered, to be confident and to really go out in the world and make a difference. I actually have something amazing that I want to show you. Do you want to come take a look? Of course, let's go. <laughs> Shanae is the founder of the SB Foundation a non-profit organization dedicated to working with disadvantaged children. So this is Georgie the Wishful Tree. I love it. We planted the tree for Arbor Day and we also took the girls' wishes and planted it underneath the tree. So as the tree grows, we hope that their wishes grow too and all their dreams do come true. As they work hard, they flourish as well. I love that, that's such a beautiful idea. But Karishma, this is actually just one aspect of my life and I'm actually heading to a workout session and I challenge you to come and join me. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Shanae, being a model amongst other things, how important is fitness to you and what do you do to keep in shape? Fitness is extremely important to me. I feel that you have to live a well-balanced life in order to succeed in all different aspects. And to keep fit, I love going to the gym very frequently. I also do hot yoga and I actually took a few boxing classes. So that was very interesting. But my favorite and which I definitely suggest is EMS training. I come in once a week. It's a 20 minute session. Since I started, I've actually noticed that my six-pack has become more defined. It is like phenomenal to look in the mirror and see that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Electro-muscle stimulation training involves exercising with the aid of a device that contracts muscles by passing an electrical current through them, making their workout a lot more intensive. Fun. I'm on such a high. Oh, no, it's exciting, <laughs> hey? Now, I know this is what you like to do to keep fit, but I have to ask, what about diet? I know I can't resist a good curry. Me as well. <laughs> but the truth is I always try to stick to moderation. You need good nutrition in order to have a healthy body. So I eat whatever I want but in moderation. Yeah and I definitely have that curry once a week. What advice do you have for young girls who are struggling with body issues? Well I would definitely say the key is exercise. A fit body really really helps to make you feel better about yourself but coupled with that would definitely be eating properly. Eat your vegetables, try to have your fruit on a daily basis and definitely have have at least eight glasses of water a day. Shanae, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for inviting me, but I think we should go freshen up. Yes, let's do let's that. <laughs> Shanae's great looks are complemented by her natural ability to project an engaging persona and a polished sense of style.
today. You look absolutely stunning. You really do just know how to put an outfit together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of which, you're known for being quite a fashionista. What are some of your favorite trends and what do you anticipate going into summer? I'm all for dresses. I love dresses. I feel that they just embrace your femininity. So I would say going into summer, the florals with um, the little belts, they're very flowy and quite cute. You are more than just a pretty face and you're currently in your final year at UCT. I've actually just completed a Bachelor of Business Science degree at the University of Cape Town, majoring in Marketing, Statistics and Economics. Do you see yourself having a future in this industry? I definitely do. I think the reason I picked the Business Science degree is because I think it's great to start business in South Africa because it creates employment opportunities and it helps our economy to grow. So I have a weak spot for shoes and handbags and I'm hoping to actually start my own luxury shoe and handbag line. Sinead has already made it to the semi-finals of Miss South Africa 2017, having secured a thumbs up for her performance in front of the camera, the selection panel and even in the kitchen. While all this was happening, she was also completing an honours degree. Congratulations on being selected as a semi-finalist for Miss South Africa 2017. Thank you. Thanks. Tell me a bit about your journey. Where did the dream begin for you? Entering Miss South Africa has actually been my childhood dream and I decided that this was the year I was going to go for it. I admire that Miss South Africa look for goal-orientated women to represent our country and I really aspire to be that woman. You have the most stunning skin and hair. What are some of your beauty secrets? In terms of hair, I actually avoid heat styling my hair. I have very straight hair, so it becomes a bit of a problem when I want to curl it. But I would suggest that if you are going to heat style your hair, to rather try and use a heat protector so that prevents damage on your hair. And definitely once a week to uh, put on a really nourishing hair mask because that just makes your hair feel very soft. Sinead, what's your philosophy for life? To always give it your best. That's how I've lived my life since I was a little girl. It's you give it your all or nothing at all. And just embracing every opportunity that comes your way. Do you have a message for all the young women out there? Be confident and know that you're beautiful, you're valuable, and you really can contribute to society. What is your New Year's message for everyone out there? I would like to wish everyone a very happy New Year. May they have a prosperous New Year coming up and be the best version of themselves. Sinead, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I've had an absolutely wonderful time. Thank you, sir. Bye. The secret is not for everyone. Mira.